are looking at two of the world's finest automobiles, the 1964 Imperial Crown and the 1964 Lincoln Continental. We're going to look more closely. As we said, Lincoln is a fine car. If it weren't, there would be no point in making this film comparison with Imperial. However, there are important differences between these cars, differences the fine car buyer should understand. For example, styling, always a matter of personal choice, of course. Imperial is totally new. In fact, it's the only completely restyled car in the luxury class. And Imperial offers a wider choice than Lincoln, with the Crown four-door hardtop, the Crown Coupe, the Crown Convertible, and the Ultra LeBaron four-door hardtop. Lincoln offers just two choices, a four-door sedan and a four-door convertible. The two cars we'll compare in this film are the Lincoln and Crown four doors. When optional equipment is equalized for each car, the Imperial is $76 less than the Lincoln, even though it is a hardtop. Now for some other differences. There is a dramatic difference at the rear, Imperial has the look of regal elegance in its powerful-looking sculptured steel and handsome lighting arrangement. The same could be said of the direct front-end view. Imperial has a unique character. It is unmistakably Imperial. Let's examine a few details. For 1964, Lincoln made a major body change to gain a little more rear legroom and trunk capacity. It has been notoriously small in these dimensions for a car of this class. But, despite this change, Imperial's wheelbase is still longer than Lincoln's by three inches. And in overall length, it is almost 12 inches longer than Lincoln. So when it comes to size, Imperial holds a decided advantage over Lincoln. The 1964 Lincoln change in length apparently required moving the gas filler opening from the center to the left side. Imperial's opening is under the handsome medallion in the center, so the gas station attendant won't drag the hose across the trunk. Imperial retains curved glass in its side windows for a mark of distinction. Lincoln has gone back to vertical glass instead of the curved it had last year. Now let's look inside these cars and compare them in spaciousness, a quality we always expect in luxury automobiles. By the way, notice that Lincoln's rear door still opens into the wind. All other major car makers decided years ago this was impractical. Imperial is far more roomy and spacious inside than Lincoln, with more headroom, more legroom, and more shoulder room front and rear. As an example, let's check the front seat shoulder room. Imperial, 64 inches. Lincoln, 59.3 inches. Almost five inches more shoulder room for Imperial, an important big car comfort feature. As you know, there are standards other than size by which luxury cars are judged. Features which contribute to driver convenience, for example. Luxury features not found in lower priced cars. Imperial and Lincoln instrument panels are quite different in appearance and function. The exclusive Imperial panel has rich, soft padding on top and bottom. Imperial provides the ease and safety positioning of push-button control transmission. Lincoln still has the shift lever mounted on the steering column. Another convenience feature lacking in Lincoln, personal built-in storage compartments in the front door armrest and Imperial is fitted with the added luxury of rear seat assist handles, a fine car feature not found in Lincoln. Imperial for 1964 offers new individual contour seats as standard in crown coupe and convertible models. The passenger seat is adjustable to five positions. Both driver and passenger seats can be fitted with adjustable headrests for added comfort and safety, not available in Lincoln. Back to roominess for a moment. In usable trunk space, Imperial provides 17.8 cubic feet. Lincoln, 15.5. This is slightly up from last year's Lincoln, but still well under Imperial. 
we have seen that Imperial offers more spaciousness, more convenience, more value than Lincoln. Now let's check their handling and performance. In performance, you think first of horsepower. Imperial has the more powerful engine, 340 horsepower to Lincoln's 320. You have an extra reserve of responsive power when and where you need it. And Imperial has a higher automatic transmission breakaway ratio than Lincoln. 5.39 to 1 against Lincoln's 4.98 to 1. The higher the breakaway ratio, the quicker the acceleration from a standstill. So the combination of higher horsepower, faster breakaway ratio, gives Imperial the edge in today's traffic when it comes to performance. Yet Imperial also provides excellent fuel economy and has proved it in the last six mobile gas economy runs. Not only has it beaten Lincoln, but it has consistently scored higher mileage per gallon than many cars in the medium and lower price classes. Stopping power is important too. Imperial provides an extra reserve, something you appreciate particularly in an emergency. Imperial has 287.2 square inches of effective brake lining to Lincoln's 227. Now let us compare these cars in riding comfort and handling ease, qualities of particular importance in cars of this class. Imperial's wheelbase is longer than Lincoln's. It can take bumps more easily because the wheels are farther apart. Although Lincoln lengthened its wheelbase somewhat, it is still less than Imperial's. Then too, Imperial has a wider rear spring base than Lincoln, 45.5 inches to 38 inches. Putting the springs farther apart lets Imperial take turns with less lean, easier driver control and more riding comfort. And Imperial's famous torsion bar front suspension with Oraflow shock absorbers all around provide better ride and control than Lincoln's coil front springs and conventional shock absorbers. Both cars use leaf rear springs. It takes a demonstration drive to really bring out the points made in this film so a prospect will appreciate and understand them. Of Imperial's many superior qualities, one will stand out. Silence the incomparable Imperial for 1964 is the quietest car in the world. Imperial engineers undertook an intensive campaign to isolate road noise and vibration with butyl rubber body mounts. All engine and driveline noises were quieted or eliminated at their source. Imperial went to great detail to create the quietest ride on the road. Compare it to Lincoln. You can hear the difference. And you can read the difference between Imperial's five-year or 50,000-mile warranty and Lincoln's coverage of the costly-to-repair powertrain components. Read the Imperial warranty for complete information on the most extensive coverage in the fine car field. Be sure your prospect appreciates the big differences between these two luxury cars. Let him drive the Imperial to sense for himself its superior handling qualities and comfortable, silent ride. Let him experience the effortless power and performance of Imperial, America's most carefully built car. Roominess is another hallmark of the luxury car. Again, Imperial excels in its spacious interior. Imperial provides such special appointment luxuries as individual contour seats with adjustable headrests not available in Lincoln. Styling distinction is also important in the list of standards by which luxury cars are judged. By any standard, the incomparable Imperial for 1964 is truly America's most carefully built fine car value.